Old Snaylock with another episode of Old Snaylock's Workshop. Today I'm fixing the plow on the tractor. Uh, this last winter when we had the huge snowfall here in Michigan, I used the, the plow to push the snow off the driveway, but the driveway got so full that I ended up trying to uh, push the piles back further. When I did that, I put an awful load on this uh, back blade. When I was pushing all that heavy snow, I broke out this bar and this tube that are supposed to be there to hold the plow in place. This pin goes down to that plate and keeps the, the plow from pivoting. With that broken, the plow was kind of flopping around but I was able to get through the season. Now it's summertime and I need to take the time and repair this plow before I need it again. So the first thing I need to do is grind off the bevels so that I can weld this up again. Grind out this old weld so I can weld this tube back on like it's supposed to be. And then put this back into position and weld it in place. So that's my project for today. Clean off this little bump so I can get it in the vise. I'm going to knock this weld off so I can get a good bevel in there and make good penetration.
right here at the end of a weld there'll be a thing called a crater crack when that weld stops and it doesn't get a chance to have the puddle come back in and warm that up and let it cool solidly that little puddle will form a, a x-shaped crack right in the middle of it now this one's been painted so you probably can't see it but it will form at the start and the stop of the welds so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this uh, cut cutoff tool and I'm going to go in there and I'm going to relieve that uh, weld out of the end there and get rid of that crater crack otherwise if I weld over the top of that all that's going to happen is that crack is going to carry on through the weld that I've got laid over the top of it so best bet is just get rid of it I want to have clean steel to weld to, so I need to go in there and wire brush out all that dirt and paint and everything. Even though the welding rod has flux on it and the idea of the flux is to clean the weld as you're welding it. Anything that you can get rid of so that the flux doesn't have to work on it makes your weld just that much better. Little time spent now saves a lot of time later fixing the things you should have done the first time. I'm going to go in here and I'm going to weld these joints shut. Have that all finished up. I'm going to try and lay, it a re lay a really good bead in there. The idea being that's going to pull a little bit on this. See if I can't crank that in where it belongs. <laughs> 